Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about factoring trinomials. And in particular, we're gonna talk about factoring easy case trinomials. And they're just called easy case because they're particularly easy to factor. And so, when we talk about trinomials, a trinomial is just a, uh, an algebraic expression with three terms. And in particular, we're gonna be looking at algebraic expressions that look like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. And these values here, a and b and c, these are just what we call coefficients. Coefficients. And really that just means numbers. All right, so A and B and C, they're just going to be numbers that are in front of, A is in front of X squared, B is in front of X, and C is just here by itself. All right. So easy case trinomials, the, the thing that makes uh, easy case trinomials easy is the fact that the A value, that is this coefficient right here in front of the X squared, the A value is always equal to 1. All right. So for example, if I wanted to factor this trinomial here, X squared plus 3X minus 18, I can see my a value is going to be 1, because there's always an implied 1 here in front, of, uh, uh, in front of a term if there's no number actually written there. So a is 1, b is positive 3, and c is negative 18. All right? And the way I factor this trinomial, this easy case trinomial, is using something that we call the diamond method. And the diamond method uses this big X, which for some reason is called a diamond, it uses this big X. And what you do is in this part of the X, the top part right here, you write down the value of the C coefficient, which in this case is negative 18. So negative 18 goes here. And what you write here is the value of your B coefficient. Your B coefficient is positive 3. And what you want to do is you want to find two numbers that go into these side parts of the diamond. And the two numbers that you're looking for are two numbers that will multiply together to give you negative 18. And they will combine or add together to give you positive 3. So let's think about this. What are numbers that will multiply together to give me negative 18? Well, let's see. If I kind of, actually, let me ignore the, the sign for now and just ask, what are numbers that multiply together to give me 18? So let's see, there would be... Uh, 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, um, and I think that's all. So, and I know I'm going to have, I want to get a negative 18 here, which means one of these numbers is going to have to be positive and one's going to have to be negative. And I want to pick the two that are going to combine to give me a positive 3. Well, it's looking like maybe these two numbers, 3 and 6, are going to combine to give me, so let's see, 3 times 6 is 18. So if I have 3 times 6, but I need negative 18, which means one of them has got to be negative. So let's see, if I make this one negative, um, this one positive, so that will give me negative 18. But now when I combine these two terms, if I add them together, then I'm going to get positive 3 plus negative 6. That's going to give me a negative 3. So I got my signs mixed up. So I need to make this one negative and this one positive. So now let me see. Negative 3 times positive 6 is negative 18. That works. And negative 3 combined with positive 6 is going to give me a positive 3. So that works. So these are the two numbers that I'm looking for. Well, once I've found these two numbers here, they multiply to give me this number, they add to give me this number, well now I can just write down my two binomial factors for this expression. My first term in each one of my parentheses is going to be x. That's going to be, and when I, if I were to do FOIL here, that would give me my x squared term here. x times x is x squared. My other two numbers are just going to be those two numbers that I put in my diamond. So x minus 3 and x plus 6, and I'm done. Now, remember, if I wanted to, I can always check to see if I've done my factoring correctly, because if I multiply these two binomials together using FOIL, I should get back the expression that I started with. So let's just check to make sure that I do. So let's see, first terms, that's going to be x times x, that's x squared. Outer, x times positive 6, that's positive 6x. Inner, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And last, negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. 
And if I combine my like terms here, then I'm going to get x squared, let's see, plus 3x minus 18. And sure enough, that matches what I started out with. So I know I have factored that expression correctly. All right, let's take a look at a couple more examples. Factor x squared minus 8x plus 12. All right, so again, I can see I've got a equals 1 which tells me this is going to be an easy case trinomial. b equals negative 8, and c equals positive 12. All right, so let me draw my diamond. And let's see, I want to get numbers that multiply together to give me positive 12, and add to give me negative 8. So let's see. What are all the numbers that will multiply together to give me 12? So let's see, I got 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, can't do 4, 5, okay, I think that's all of them. So here's the, here are the numbers that I have to choose from. And any one of these will multiply together to give me a positive 12 in this case, but I need two numbers that are going to combine to give me a negative 8. So let's see. All right, looks like maybe 2 and 6, that gives me 8, so it looks like these are going to be a good choice here. So 2 and 6, so 2 times 6 gives me positive 12, except if I combine 2 and 6, that's going to give me positive 8, so I know I need to fix my signs here. So I need this to be negative 8, so negative 2 and negative 6, and negative 2 times negative 6, negative 6 also gives me positive 12, so that works and adding together gives me negative 8, so now I just need to write down my binomial factors. x goes here in the front, and negative 2 and negative 6, so x minus 2 and x minus 6, and I'm done. Example number 3, factor x squared plus 15x plus 26. Okay, again I can see I've got an easy case trinomial because a equals 1 b is 15, and c is 26. Draw my diamond. I need to put my c term in the top, that's positive 26, and my b term in the bottom, that's 15. Okay, now this one, this one it looks maybe a little bit more challenging because I can't think of, I'm going through my timetables and I'm not, think, I'm not coming up with anything that, that equals 26. But I know there must be some numbers that will equal 26 because I can see it's an even number. Let me do a factor tree on 26 just so I can... I know 26, I, 2 would be a factor. 2 times... ah, 2 times 13. 2 times 13, and in fact, well, I guess I could do 1 times 26. That would work. So I got 1 times 26, I got 2 times 13, and that's the only possible combinations of factors that I have to get 26. So I need the pair that is going to add to give me 15, and I can see that's going to be 2 and 13. So 2 and 13, and it looks like in this case, yeah, since all my numbers are positive, all these numbers are going to be positive too. So I got a positive 26, a positive 15, I'm going to want a positive 2 and a positive 13. So let's check to be sure. 2, positive 2 times positive 13 is positive 26, that works, and positive 2 combined with positive 13 gives me a positive 15, so that works. So, my factored form of this expression is going to be, I put my x's in, x plus 2, x plus 13, and I'm done.